When does dental infection reach bone? Welcome today we will talk about dental abscesses and how they can affect bones. Explain to us first what abscesses are and how they originate. Abscesses or infections in the oral cavity can be caused by multiple reasons such as genetic conditions, the immune system, and it is weakened, other diseases such as diabetes, dental extraction or finally due to diseases in the gums that are not treated in a timely manner. Likewise, if any of the teeth are removed, added to poor oral hygiene, infections easily develop which could reach more easily and through a direct channel to the bone. Does any dental infection attack the bone? Before reaching the bone, there are three types of infections. Gingival Infection that develops in the gums, it does not affect the tooth or the bone structure. Periapical Infection that forms at the tip of the root. The bacteria spread to the interior of the tooth due to fracture or caries, coming into contact with nerves and blood vessels that are in the pulp, spreading to the tip of the root and spreading to the bone, producing the abscess. Periodontal Starts in the bone and tissues that support the tooth, ultimately resulting in periodontitis or gum disease. And what are the causes of dental infections? The causes of abscesses are the following. Poor dental hygiene, diet rich in sugars and flowers, xerostomia or dry mouth, caused by age or by some medications, smoking or weakened immune system that cannot fight bacteria efficiently. How does this infection pass from the teeth to the bones? Osteomyelitis bone infection arises as a result of chronic infection or pathology that obstructs blood flow, leading to bone death and necrosis. And how we can treat osteomyelitis? Some treatments for osteomyelitis are the following. Medications. Sometimes when the infection is not so advanced, it is possible to manage it with antibiotics. Root canal treatment or endodontics. Helps eliminate the infection and save the tooth if it has not yet reached the bone. The infected pulp of the tooth is removed and this space is filled. The tooth is not lost. Incision and drainage. Your dentist will need to make a small incision, cut, in the abscess to drain the pus. Tooth extraction. Sometimes it is not possible to save the tooth, therefore, your dentist will remove the tooth and all the tissue affected by the infection. Very well, we must always take care of our oral health and visit the dentist when we have dental infections. Thank you very much for the explanation. If you have any questions about this or other topics, you can contact us at Channel Island Family Dental as well as our Facebook page. We look forward to your visit and we will make a timely diagnosis. Our dentists in Oxnard, St. Paul Adventure, Newbury Park and Port Huning will be able to guide you towards the best treatment to take care of your health and give you back your best smile.